What was the mark that you got in first test? I didn't get to, to, to say me. What did you get? I got 5%. In your first test? And then in high school, we got what for mathematics? 97. 97. Like from extra sent to another courses. I was like, nah, I'll stay here. Mm -hmm. I'll see. I'll figure out what to do. Uh, hello, hello, guys, and uh, welcome back to Gift uh, Varsity TV. Uh, this is your host, uh, Gift Bozekana. Uh, today we are at Vets University uh, in Johannesburg. Uh, I'm still coming to your institution. So don't worry, I'm, go I'm gonna be there very soon so that we can also get to know about the different courses uh, at university, right? And also bring professionals with amongst uh, different uh, fields, right? So, uh, I know some of you asked me to bring a student who is doing uh, actual science, uh, one of the most, uh, hey, hey, she will describe it herself, right? Uh, actual sciences at Vets uh, University, right? So don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share to as many, as many, as many students all over the country, grade 12s, uh, university students also who are currently uh, studying actual science uh, this year. Hi. Hi, how are you? No, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Can you please introduce yourself to my viewers at home? Oh, hi, everyone. Um, Asan Dambogazi. Uh, I'm doing second year actuarial science at Vert. Uh, I'm from KZN. Yeah. Okay. Uh, guys, she's currently doing second year in uh, actuarial sciences at uh, Vert University. Right. So, uh, tell us, where, which, so which subject did you do in high school? Uh, I did eight subjects. Uh, it was maths, physics, accounting, uh, life sciences, geography, and then two languages and LO. Yeah. So you did eight? <laughs> yeah, I did eight. <laughs> Guys, you, you are doing seven, but you're complaining. She did eight. Eight subjects in high school. Right. So, uh, were you this uh, excelling student in high school or... Uh, were you getting good marks in high school? Yeah, uh, since primary, like, uh, yeah, I was just a, you know, a, a good learner. <laughs> yeah, from, like, since primary school. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, you decided that uh, in the future you want to become an actuary, right? Uh, what is, where did this idea of becoming an actuary or studying actual sciences came from? Uh, me and actuarial science came a long way. Uh, so um, I heard about actuarial science in grade nine. I was introduced by my physics and accounting teacher. Uh, they told me uh, what actuarial science is because like, I love math. So, you know, kids that love math. <laughs> so, yeah, I loved math a lot and also accounting, also physics. So I didn't know like uh, in grade 10 which subject to, to choose. But uh, they told me that I can take both uh, physics and accounting. I was like, yeah, I can take it. And yeah, I did research more about actuarial science. What is it? Um, man, you know, like uh, on Google, they just give you like basic, um, you know, like definition of what actuarial science is. You know, you don't like really know what actuarial science is, like deep, 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 what it is. So yeah. What is it? What is it? You don't know. <laughs> no, what's... even now, you know, like it's really, honestly, honestly, even now I'm doing the king, but I don't know what the science is. But yeah, yeah. All I know is that like it's all about risk management and uncertainty. It's just that now we are still doing math, like you know, we are dealing with math, not like what is happening, yeah, in a daily basis, you know, yeah. So yeah. you're not in too deep into yes, actual okay. us. Hence, now I'll bring professionals just keep on subscribing let's just hear her, her, her story as an actual science a student here at vets university so did you want to study something else besides actual science i know that you said that you came a very a long way with actual science and starting from early grades there uh, but did you have something in mind that 
maybe I can become this and this. Guys, you know when you come from like rough areas, you always want to be a doctor. So yeah, yeah no, like since primary, like I want to do medicine. I want to do medicine. And then the time I was introduced to actual science, I was like, hmm. I'll choose between the two, you know, like, yeah, those were my two best choices. And then I went for a job shadowing, right? So, guys, like, if maybe you get an opportunity to go for a job shadowing, please go. Because, like, I discovered there, like, medicine was not for me. It wasn't, like, for me. I went for a job shadowing, like, it wasn't really for me. So, yeah. Yeah, but, like, yeah. And then, then I decided that, nah. I think I like actuarial science. I want to see, like, okay, I'll do it this first year to see, like, how is it actually to check whether maybe I like it or not. But yeah, I turned out like, oh, you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Others are complaining about it. I'm also complaining, but you know, like, once you are in there, like, you, you love, like, the ch- like the challenge that is in there. You know, mm. you yeah. You love thing. You love things that challenge you. A lot, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in grade twelve, you applied for actual sciences at Vets, right? Mm. Let's assume that you applied at Vets, yeah. and then you did apply in other institutions yeah, as well, yeah, right? Yeah. But luckily, you accepted at Vets. So were you accepted in medicine? Yeah, I I was accepted in medicine, but I only applied at UKZN for medicine, and then I you know. Since I was accepted for extra science, so like yeah, I rejected medicine because I knew that I wouldn't survive. So yeah. Oh, so you, you just assumed uh, what are you no, gonna no, get used to it? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, all right. So what like how did you feel when you finally received that letter that says, "Hey, congratulations! You have been admitted to study extra sciences at Vets University." Oh my God, I was excited to be honest like i was really excited like you know uh getting an offer that you you wanted you know that feeling guys you know oh guys just that you know uh in metric you always think that now nah, maybe i won't do better you know like there's a high competition now oh student now i mean learners now yo mm. yo 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 yeah they are working mm. there's a high competition mm. so um yeah, getting an opportunity like really excited me, to be honest. And coming here, actually, it was really it was my first time uh, in another province. You know, experiencing things. Yeah. Was been in case of that, so. <laughs> exactly. So I got an opportunity to go out from my province, and then uh, I discovered that nah, this place is nice. You know, how thing. Yeah. yeah it's really so nice. you come at friends. So what are the interesting things that you discovered when you are a first year at Vets, the beginning of Vets? Okay, like, you know, like, every time when you stay with parents, uh, you don't go to nice places. For example, Groove. I don't mean, like, I, I do Groove. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, like, okay, Freshers Party, you know, uh, getting to know new people, you know, like, getting to know how other people think, where do they come from, knowing like people from different backgrounds, your mind, how you also think. Yeah, it's, it's like it was a really nice experience, honestly. Yeah, so you did go to the freshest part in there. <laughs> of course. Like, yeah, I enjoyed the first year. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, the fun was there. You were introduced to Vets University, uh, to the culture of the university, right? Then you started your, your first year in actual sciences. How was it? <sighs> Oh my God! Trust me, uni is the worst. It's the worst thing I've ever came across. So, like, my first year was a horrible experience in terms, of, like, academic wise. It was really a horrible experience, honestly. You know, like, getting uh, to know what failure is. Like, you know, like when you come from um, from your place around your area, you are the cream of the cream, you know. And then, like, and then you come here, you fail. Fail your first test. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm even scared to say. <laughs> but yeah, I failed my first test. I feel like, you know, all the universe just shut it down. Like, yeah. you know. I didn't just, believe I that didn't, one, one day you can get a fail while you're a top not, achieving student not, in high school. Not just a fail. Like, not just a fail. Yo, guys. Mm. Below, below. Below average. I mean, yo, guys. Below, below average of failing. Exactly. So, <laughs> just imagine, yeah. like, um, 
I got 97% in maths. You know, in physics, how do you have to do? <laughs> I got 94%. Okay. No. Geography. Uh, I got 89% for geography. Um, hmm, it was 84. Right? And uh, then what else? Geography. Accounting, accounting. Accounting. Yeah, okay. I got 89. Uh, too, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Wow, your average was play was. Uh, it was 89. Yeah, you love yeah. 89. Uh, yeah. You didn't want to get into that. <laughs> but wow, those, those are incredible marks. Those are incredible marks, right? So. You, you got challenges in uh, first year whereby you, you failed your first test. What was that? Uh, it was actuarial science. Mm, it's module. A, oh, yeah, it was an actuarial science module, actuarial science yeah. one. So, you know, guys, like, you know, in first year, it's more like maths, you know. It's, yeah, it's, it's more like first, oh, like, I'll say, like, the first test, the people know, like, who, who did actuarial science, like, the first test. You know, they, they all know the first test, yeah. Mm. It's more like maths, yeah, it was more of like patterns number patterns yo guys i did number patterns in high school man like guess what the mark oh, what what did I'm you got even, what was the mark that you got in I first really test get to, to, to say. what did you get i got five percent in the first test and then in high school we got what for mathematics 97 97 that's university for you. I may do <laughs> Wow. But, like, uh, how did you feel that? You felt like hey, actual science was not for you or you tried to make sure that, you know, you don't get that 7% again? They say never give up, never back down. Yes. I was yeah. like, nah, it's just the first test and it didn't, like, count for marks. I was like, yeah. nah, maybe it's because I'm still adapted to the, adapt, adapting to a new environment. So yeah. I'll just try to make sure that I, I try to improve my marks. So, like, yeah, I studied, I studied. Guess what? I failed again, the, the block test. Again, the block test. Okay, I was like, ah, nah. I don't. I won't give up. I won't give up. I, I like this thing. Yeah. I failed again. Block two test. I failed the whole semester. First semester mm. for XI. I was like, oh my god, is this thing really for me? Mm. Or maybe nya four stand here, you know? You failed the semester. Yeah, I failed semester one. And luckily, it was a full year module. So yeah. Oh, so yeah. it was not a semester module. Yeah, a... You still had a chance to repent and redeem yourself. And we were given an opportunity to switch, like from extra science to another courses. I was like, nah, I'll stay here. Mm -hmm. I'll see. I'll figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I did. Like, like. How, how did how did your methods change now? Because you, you're saying you were studying in first semester, yeah. but you were failing. Exactly. Yeah. I was studying. Mm -hmm. You know, guys. Um, I think. I've had many people saying this that um, it's it's really helpful to change your high school habits, like how you study when you come to university. Like it's no longer the same thing. Mm. So you need to change how you study, like the way you are. Um, like I don't know, like this mind of like I was the top student. Please leave it in high school, mm. please. <laughs> and then when you come here, make sure you make friends. Um, you this thing of like a competition i want to be seen that i was the cream of the creams uh in my in my hood just leave it there please leave it there please because you guys yeah. you that humbled me honestly yeah, it's, it's really humbled Let's, me. okay okay so okay yeah um i think uh it's really important to make sure that you make friends at uni you 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 make a uh, I think also friends from other courses because they they help you in a way. But people you are doing the same modules with, yeah, yeah it happened that you know you're doing the the different courses, but you do the same modules. Yeah. So yeah, make friends there, and also um make sure you get to know your seniors. Mm -hmm. Like seniors, you know, like in second semester, I was mostly helped by my seniors, people that I knew who were seniors. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, it's really important to know seniors. Like make connections actually. Like make sure you make connections. Like seniors are really helpful. They tell you like maybe you tell them like what's your problem. They'll tell you now. Nah, I've also experienced this thing, so it's really important maybe to change this and do it this way. You know, give us an give example. An, ex an advice. Give us so, an example <laughs> on how like things that you changed. 
Oh, okay. Um, I used to study, you know, like 24 seven, but not every day, you know, like it's, I'm such a lazy person, honestly. <laughs> so I don't study every day, but like once I get a chance, I used to cross night, you know, this thing of cross nighting was not for me. Mm. So second semester, um, I met this uh, lady and then she told me that uh, cross nighting is not, you know, like good for someone's health, mm. you know. But n not for everyone. Some people can cross night. For me, for me, yo, yeah. So I changed that. So I stopped cross nighting, and like it's really worked for me because I did pass sem second semester. Mm -hmm. So you know, cross nighting. I changed that. I also changed how I I used to study. Yeah. How did you start? Tell us. <laughs> we want to go there deeper. Wait, how did you start? Okay. Someone so is watching us in actual science. Probably the the stairs is killing them, and you know, uh, yeah. I think it's important to prioritize, you know, like those hardest modules mm. you find difficulty in. Mm. So, yeah, um, I used to, like Monday to Friday, I used to focus on stats, math, and actuarial science. And then on weekends, I used to focus on accounting and economics. Mm. So, I used to do like that, yeah. So, I used to be like, oh, another thing, another senior told me that you should treat your course as your job, you know. You get in at you get in at eight, and then you then um, maybe depart at at five. So yeah, so yeah, uh, I use I I change like um, I use that method, and it's really worked for me because I was like there was those time you know like after finishing the whole syllabus, and then you're now studying on your own. So I used to apply that a lot, like uh, make sure that um, I leave rest at eight, and then come back later. Because uh, I extended, you don't allow any yeah, distraction during yes, the. Exactly. The, I the even, period yo, guys, I even left my phone every day at mm. rest mm. because, like, I saw that nah, if I was at the edge, you know, like at the edge of like it's I'm failing old, first yeah. year, mm. I'm failing first year, so I make I made compromises, I made sacrifices, like no cell phone, mm. it won't help me. Mm. So yeah, and also this thing of um. My lecture used to, to tell us that it is really important every time to use like hard copies. Most especially to do, to us, like we don't usually do about coding and stuff. Mm. So I used um, mostly like hard copies, write everything down. Yeah, I think it really helps you to remember things when you write down. Yeah, I do. Whoa, 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 guys! The golden advice is in second year now. Every module, she passed everything. The other module challenge to you a lot. No, it was that. Yo, know, mostly it's. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I felt like it was dead, but actually it was actual science. So yeah, I would say like both of them. Uh, yeah. Statistics. How did you study statistics? <gasps> Instead, ah, uh, I, I'm most of the time I use YouTube channels. Z was it Z statistics, JP statistics? You know those channels. And also, I use lecture lecture notes most of the time. Yeah, doing tutorials like doing tutorials really helped me a lot, and also past papers uh, that were given by our lecture. So yeah, I think yeah. Okay, so those uh, things really helped you. Wow, that's great. That's great. The the question that we forget: you did get good marks in high school, right? Uh, there are students in high school probably watching us interested in uh, actual research. how did you study in high school that the methods that you kept you to to be a genius to get those incredible marks to go um, to vet university and uh, study uh, uh, actual science Sorry. it's really hard to say because you know once you you get used to be like i don't know but there's this thing you know like if you were a good student Barely before, you know, it's I don't know. It's 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 easy for you to grab everything a teacher says during in class, you know. And then when you go back to to home, even if you don't do it, you know, yeah. for me, even if I didn't do it, and like, you know, yeah, you're, you're able to yeah, to, to retain the information. Yes, so unlike university, you can't do yeah, that. You can't just go into a paper no. and say. I am going to attack now. I didn't you know, start. The lectures like yo, know, the way they teach, mm. they teach like in you know one twenty kilometers per hour their speed. <laughs> you no, know, like they're so fast, guys. Yeah. It's really hard to you know like maintain the workload. Yeah, it's really hard. But unlike high school, so okay, what I used to do in high school, 
honestly, I didn't have any study methods, no. So I used to make sure that I concentrate in class, I listen in class, and then um, I was always ahead. So yeah, I was always ahead. So I made sure that, okay, before I attend the class, I should make sure that I have done this topic. So that when I get there, I will like um, get more information maybe that I left behind, you know, and also get like extra exercises. I did past papers. You know, guys, past papers are very important in metric. So because like they, they change the way they ask questions, but the way they want you to answer the question is the same thing. So, yeah, I, I did that a lot. Yeah. What else? And also, okay, this thing of uh, helping other people, it really helps you to be able to recall stuff. So what I normally did is that um, I made sure that um, whenever someone asks for help, I help them. And you, you shouldn't, like, I don't know how to say it, but... Um, it keep. Yeah, don't, don't keep information to yourself. Give it to other people. Because, like, when you give out the information, you also get help. So, yeah, I think if you understand something and then someone doesn't understand it, it's really important to share that information. Don't retain it to yourself only. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what I, uh, I mostly did. Um, what else? And also, uh, if you maybe, like, you're scared of your classmates, go to your, go to your teachers. Like, teachers are really helpful in high school, honestly. When you're mostly doing metric, when you're doing metric, yeah, like teachers make sure that you get everything you want. Just that you should go to them. They 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 won't follow you, but you should go to them. Yeah. yeah. Follow the leader. Follow your teacher. All right. Wow. And practice question papers. You did practice oh, question papers. A lot. Yeah. That's what I like. Uh, I mentioned that the okay. past papers are very important. Yeah, they are very important. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, that's very, very incredible. How is the second year now? Like, hey, oh how is God. going? You know, okay, besides academics, you know, like, yeah. I feel like it's much better than first year. Because first year, you had to adapt to the new environment, make friends, you know, all that pressure. Yeah, I think now I feel like everything is much better. Although, like, the, the workload is, yeah, it's still there, but it's manageable now because, you know, like, I've changed my study methods everything has changed so yeah i think it's although it's hard guys i'm, I'm not saying it's easy oh yeah it's still hard but it's manageable that's what i will say what can you say to every student who is in first year oh my god if you see me come and get a hug honestly but like i will just say like ish, make sure if you really like actual science make sure ish, be patient, bro. Make sure you start. N not hard. Like, don't pressurize yourself. Study, like, smart, but also hard. Study hard and smart. Make sure you balance your social life and your academics. Because, like, um, whenever... You and also have, like, a strong support system. Because me too, in first year, I had a strong support system. That's why maybe I survived. That is why I survived. Because, like, if you have a, a strong support system, they help you like to you know improve like or like increase your spirit like hey um if you are feeling down or maybe you can see now nah, if things are not going well they're always there for you so like yeah make sure you get the most support like strong support system yeah. okay 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 a strong support system wow that's great let's go to high school then we close what advice could you give to someone who's in high school? Oh my god, please enjoy metric, guys. You you know, once you're in uni, you know, like, you can't go back. It, metric is the, oh, it's the most interesting class. Hmm. Yeah, like, because I think it's because it's like, that's the, the last class. So, yeah, please enjoy your metric and make sure you study, guys. You forget, I don't know. Oh, guys, Mujolo. If you're in high school i don't know like leave mujol because once you get here you'll see that now nah, high school mujol was ah, leave that if you can see like it distracts you yeah. leave it yeah. I, oh, I don't know what to say but like leave it leave distraction like, they must like, leave uh, mujol in high school they will find their soulmates at university oh, i don't know about soulmates i, I... I don't worry focus on high school yeah. and get your metric and your umalusi when you come here, there's a soulmate stored for you, right? Don't worry. 
There's a whole soulmate that is thought for you, right? You yeah, know, and future also, wife and the future wife. Mm. Oh, and also make sure that your friends are good friends. You know, like, yeah, make sure your friends, uh, they help you. If you have, like, toxic friends, guys, leave them. Still have my friends. From high school. Yeah, from high school, but just that we took different routes. Yeah, but make sure. If they are toxic. Uh, if they are toxic, uh, cut them off, right? Uh, my friends, thank you so much for your time uh, on Gift uh, Varsity TV. Thank you. Yeah, I hope this video gets more than 100,000 uh, views. Uh, guys, make sure that you like, uh, you share, and you comment down below anything that uh, you loved uh, about uh, this uh, video today. Uh, I'm still going to bring uh, uh, professionals who are in this uh, profession so that they can explain it further uh, to you, uh, the job description of this uh, uh, course. Uh, thank you so much. Till next time. Bye-bye.